What's going on guys? What is going on? My name is Chris. I'm the CEO here at Lilu. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, all right, I'm doing the $50,000 Lilu LL Foundation Account Challenge. Before we go forward, be sure you check out the risk disclosure. Be sure you know that I am not in any way advising, teaching, anything like that. Not an expert in trading or anything like that. This is all for educational purposes only. So be sure you're responsible for your own trades and don't trade money you can't afford to lose. All right. So be sure you check this out. Okay. So um, here you can see uh, the account that I got selected here is the fifty thousand. Let's see, it's the um, fifty thousand uh, dollar account with the trailing drawdown uh, LTV at forty seven thousand five hundred. So you can see all that here. Uh, this is my first day. And uh, we may not take a trade today. We may take a trade. So we'll see what happens and develops. Um, on my chart here, um, let's see if I can kind of bring this out here real quick. Um, you will be able to see, I'm going to zoom in more, but for right now, you can see that I got the MNQ set up. Um, I'm going to be trading mainly the MQ or MNQ. I may do the ES or MES also. Uh, I'll try to remember to let you know. Mainly, I'm going to be looking at the one-minute candles, so be sure you look at that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it on that. Let me check something out real quick here. All right, pretty good here. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at different uh, charts on my end. Um, and so um, i got multiple monitors here, So and I'm not going to be moving things around too much. Um, so let's see here. Okay. It looks like we actually have uh, some potential here. So let's see if we can go, uh, let me go here. So five, uh, I'm going to assume this a little bit for you guys here. So I'm going to be best for you guys to look. There we go. Let's see if that's better for you guys here. There we go. All right, let's try that for you. See if that works for you guys there. All right, so I'm going to be looking at my... Yeah, let me know if that's... I guess you guys really don't need to see this part that much. So let's, let's focus more on chart. Let's see if I can bring this out for you guys more here. All right, so we may get into this trade here. And what I want to do quickly... So I don't typically do this. It's fast. So I want to be able to pull that there. Uh, okay, that's about double, so 40, no, it's not quite double, actually. All right, looks like we missed that, so now i got to go higher. Let me look here just to be sure we're on the right path here. Um, let's go back there. Adjust this here, that, that there. Boom. Try to do this as fast as I can. All right, so that's three times to return if we can get on that. So let's see if we can get onto that trade. Um, so it looks like this morning we made, uh, so today is, what's today? April the 13th. We made some pretty good move up. Um, and so we're kind of hanging out a little bit. And so there's a couple scenarios that could happen, be happening right now. So uh, let me just look around here at the five-minute candle. Oh, sorry guys about that. Uh, five minute candle. Okay, we can get there. And I'm looking at the 30 minutes. Yeah, so I think we actually might continue to move move forward here, but um, we'll see if we can get this quick trade here. See if it gives us that right there. So this will be if we lost this trade, we're lo looking at lo losing ten dollars and fifty cents per micro. We're trading five micros on the MNQ uh, right now. All right, so it looks like we missed that trade. So now we're going up. Let's see if we can move that. Let's see now. Man, everyone is trying to call me during this time. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, so 
uh, 50k has a profit target of uh, 3,000, trailing drawdown of 2,500. Um, so, uh, look at that move. Yeah, we missed that trade. Oof. I might be able to get in there. Let me look at this real quick. Missed it by a couple inches. And did it break that? No, it didn't. So, we could still go up here. It's a little higher risk trade at this point. Um, still very doable. So let me look here. So if we go there, I'm going to have to take a stop there. I can still hold it in the same spot, though. So I'm looking at 14. Yeah. And we just missed this trade here. Oh, missed it by a couple ticks, guys. You can't have nothing. And sorry, I'm trying to adjust to get sure you guys can see this. It's a little weird. I'm not used to making all these movements. Um, but yeah, on the five minute zone, uh, sorry, on the five minute chart, we missed a great opportunity there. So <sighs> let me uh, look around here. I think we're going to potentially. Let me look here. All right. All right. I don't see any entries right now, so I'm going to have to wait pretty much. So nothing at this time. So let's delete that. All right. So this is where we we would have taken that trade up here to go short. We missed it by a tick. Um, so now we just have to kind of wait for for a setup. So this is where I don't know what to do. Can I pause this so I don't keep? So I think I'm gonna pause it, and uh, we'll wait. So all right, I think we're back. All right. So there's a potential random pattern here. So I'm going to go into that random pattern. Um, so I'm going to go long here. Go uh, check my uh, my risk real quick. Oh, come on. I'm still getting, sorry guys. I'm still not used to doing all this on the recording line here. So we're looking at 20 bucks. Okay, 1.5 return. I'm gonna have to go for a new high. I'm gonna have to do that right there. Okay. All right. Well, I just missed it. Am I recording? Yeah, I think I'm recording. Okay. All right. So, all right, guys. So I'm doing the fifty thousand dollar account challenge here. Let me bring that up as much as I can. Um, so you can see here, I haven't taken any trades yet. We're a count balance starting at 50,000. The profit target is 3,000. Uh, the trailing drawdown is a trailing drawdown of um, 2,500. Um, all right, and so I'm trading out of my uh, Ninja platform. And um, I'm probably expecting here a random pattern here to go long. So perfect, we got this scenario built up. I'm gonna go right there on top, see if it comes back and picks us up. It may, it may not. That's all right. We're just going to wait for it. If we miss it, no big deal. And I'm going to be trying to adjust it here so it's easier for you guys to be able to see my chart. I'm, uh, I'm on the M&Q, one-minute candles, but I also have the daily open. I have the five-minute open, and I have the 30-minute uh, M&Q charts open on my other uh, monitors. Uh, yeah, this is looking really good here to go long. And on the five minutes, it looks great. I think we just missed the trade there. So we gotta be patient, see if it comes back. Maybe we missed it. Uh, we'll wait for another random pattern, and if that's the case, but unfortunately, I can't I can't go tr chasing prize at this point, uh, just because our risk to reward will be dramatically uh, not very good. So, yep, we just gonna have to wait at this point. Oof. Bummer, but yeah, so I was looking for a short here and it would have um, maybe given us the money or target, but uh, that's all right, we missed that. And so now we'll see if we can get on this long here. So, based on this setup right here, I can actually go just a hair higher. Maybe the difference between getting into the trade and not getting into the trade based on that candle right there. So, I'm looking to risk right about. $20.50 per micro, and uh, if we hit the target, um, I want to get at least 40 so double at least my money, 
and I could do a little more than that, but I think we can get it to right there, right at $74 per micro. Um, so we're going to have to kind of wait there. So let me see if there's another entry here that I'm not looking. Okay, there's going to be a potential for an entry here. So if that's the case, let me look around. I'm still thinking uh, 13146 So yeah, we're in a good spot here. I think that's where, that's a good conservative spot to go to for a profit target. So my ratio just needs to be pretty, pretty good, um, you know, to be worth the risk for the trade, okay? So at this point, I'm just going to be waiting. And I may try to pause this here so I just don't uh, make this video too long. I try to unpause if uh, I need to come back. Okay, bringing it back. So if this breaks above this here, we'll have a potential for an entry here. So let me calculate the risk to reward there. We're looking at $16 per micro. And if we get in there and go here, we're looking at 42. So that's still a great return. So we'll be able to take a long here if it gives us that chance, um, if that's the setup that it gives us. So I'll be ready to move my entry to that spot right there. I'm going to put a blue line there just to help me quickly find it. Uh, I'm ready to rock if it does happen. So if they do come back down and pick us up, no big deal. We'll be in good shape. Uh, we will be fighting a little bit of that, obviously, that little sideways there. Um, so then at this point, i got to determine if that's going to be the risk. So looking at other stuff, I think we're going to be okay. I think it's going to fight through it. Uh, so we'll be willing, I'll be willing to take that, uh, that risk on that trade. So, all right, let's see if this goes that way just be impatient and so i'm going to try to pause here so you guys don't wait too long i think they're going to break it soon so i try to unpause here as soon as they they go one way or the other just so i don't keep wasting the video so we'll be right back all right guys uh, just checking in real quick uh, we're still just hanging out here see if they break through this a little higher um and then give us a chance to come back in uh, i'll be if it does break that high there I'll be moving my entry to that blue line right there at around 3125. Um, so let's see, that's what you're trying to do. So I think we're going to be able to rock this out real quick here. So I'm going to be ready to rock there. Just need that little break. We have about 17 seconds on this candle. See if that breaks here. Oh, my allergies are killing me. So if not, I'm just going to hang out here. I'm just going to wait, 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 wait. Waiting, more waiting going on. So I'm doing the $50,000 uh, LL Lilu Foundation account. Um, let me bring that up here again. So as you can see, I still haven't taken any trades. Uh, let me see, see if I can show that. There we go. Uh, all right. So. We're just going to be waiting there. All right, looks like we're breaking there. So let's, da -da -da. let's see here. I've got to zoom in a little bit, guys. Sorry. One second. Give me two seconds. Okay, I'm going to wait. Right, so we have another good spot there. So, so that makes it a little challenging for the long short, uh, long shot here, just because we're gonna have to break through that wall if it does come pick us up. But we're gonna be patient here. So looking, looking good here. Let's see if it gets comes our way. Move this out of the way here. Uh, making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I don't see anything major. Let's see if it can get down to us. If this creates a nice wick, um, then I will consider that for my entry and my stop at the bottom of that wick. Um, but let's, uh, we still got 26 seconds there. We'll be patient. Uh, on the five minutes, it's actually creating a pretty strong inside candle there. So this will need to pick us up, pick us up and take a strong push up 
if we hope to get that target up. So let's see if it gets to us. Order filled. All right, we're in the trade, so I'm gonna adjust my stop right there. So right below that, where I had that plan. So right now, we're risking um, twenty dollars per micro uh, with a profit target up there. So let's see if it uh, if it holds. And if it doesn't, no big deal. We know what we are risking. And so we're just going to wait. Whew. All right. So in the five minutes, we got 31 seconds. So let's see if we get a wick out of this. Um, and let's see how this uh, develops here. So. All right, so we're in the trade. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that. Yep, everything looks good on your on your end over there. So let's see if this will hold um, to go make a new high. So uh, we're risking 20, so I just need to get at least 40 in return. So if we were to do 40, that's right around here. So if we need to adjust, we can always adjust right there. Um, but I, I think we could break a new high up here. So I'm going to be patient and wait around this area here for that, um, for that return. Oh, I gotta move my profit target, how about that? Oh no, I gotta do that, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna be patient and I'm gonna wait right around here, there we go. So I could tie in my stop if I wanted to, to right below this wick right here, so I can minimize my, my risk, so I can definitely do that for sure. Um, and so that's a very, very profitable thing I could do. In fact, I may do that now. So now I'm risking $10. So now for to get four times that, I just need 40. So now I can bring this down to right about there. And now I can get right about, oh, go there now and I can get four times my return on that um, if this works out so because I reduced my risk here now uh, I can get ten to, uh, sorry four times the return here if it hits my uh, profit target so let's see if it gets us out of here <clears throat> I did have that blue line let me erase that blue line from there let me just clean this up a little bit for you guys it's a little messy. So the, my concern was here, right? We we had a concern down here. We have to break through that. Um, so we are getting four already four times our return. So the question is, do we want to manage that? Um, are we okay with four times? Do we want to go a little higher? I think we can. Uh, do we want to go a little lower? I think we can. So I'm just going to stand out here. Um, Okay, it looks like we're out of the trade. So uh, so we got our um, risk was $10.50 per micro. My profit target was $40.50 per micro. Oh, let me bring up my... Um... All right, so you always want to double check that you're out of the trade. So we are. So now well, this looks pretty good. But all right, so let's look at this real quick. So we made uh, on the p and is 194.90. So you can see here, perfect drawdown. So we got out at the best possible price. Uh, we took very little heat. Uh, in fact, we took only about, you know, $10 worth of heat. So that was good. All right, let me go back here. So we got a perfect drawdown. We made 194 for the day. And guys, that is me. That's we're done trading rather so um i typically depends on the trade and depends on the situation i would trade more or less but uh today with one trade we're good to go so that's my trade for day one and i'm probably going to confuse the days because there may be some days i don't trade so i'm only going to trade if there's a setup going to happen uh, if it looks up but um again you can see that we made uh we risked um let me see if i can bring this up here yeah, we risked uh, ten dollars per ten dollars per micro, and we got a forty dollar return after we were able to lock in that risk there. So that was uh, not bad. So good job, guys, today.
That was fun. That was fun. I'm glad we were able to get one in. And again, if we would have lost that trade, no big deal, right? Because uh, we knew what we were going to lose, right? If we lost that trade, we knew that we were going to lose $10.50 per micro. So there's no surprise, okay? The only adjustments that I did was the profit target. And because we had a, such a small risk, right, I didn't have to hold us long on the profit target. All right, so we did a great job on that. Um, and so everything was calculated prior to the trade. We had uh, different points that we were looking at based on market structure. So beautiful trade, um, exit and entry, uh, entry and exit rather, I guess. But uh, most important, we had a strategy, we had a plan, we already knew how much we were risking and how much we were gonna get in return. And because of that, we were able to do what we needed to do. So um, as you can see here, that was, maybe they're gonna go a little higher, but again, I'm done for the day here. So we're gonna shut it down and uh, good job on that guys. Thanks for watching. And again, uh, I may trade tomorrow, I may not. So, um, so we'll see how long it takes us to get qualified. <laughs> if we get qualified, we may not. We may, you know, lose the account, and that's fine. So, not going to be over leveraged. Uh, we just did five micros today on the M and Q, uh, and today is April the thirteenth, uh, twenty twenty three. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about random patterns, uh, supply and demand zones, and that's what I did today. I did a random pattern with supply and demand zones. Uh, based on market structure and so uh, so yeah again not chasing price right not you know getting mad that we missed out on a couple trades uh, that we would have hit our targets so just being patient and waiting for that all right guys well i hope you guys have a great day we'll catch up on the next trade